Hello, my name is Jorge Casillas from the University of Granada, Spain. In some previous videos, we saw how to obtain the precision measures from different algorithms for comparison to obtain something like that. Here we are going to complete the analysis by studying the training result and comparing training with test. So we can see if the algorithm is overfitting. And here where we, is, is where we will do. So we are using the precision measures, exactly the same note that we saw in a previous video, from tra for training data and for test data. We are using the same table and string configuration like this, like here. For sy symmetry, I reordered the inputs by right uh, click, meta node, reconfigure, reconfigure, and then you can move these ports. So I use this to obtain this, this flow, workflow. Okay, so let's gonna see how we can obtain the result for training and test. So we have two outputs, one for the training result, results and the other one for test. This one for test. To do that, it is something like this. We need two predictors, one for training. This is actually training. This is test and the second one for test. Now we are getting two different tables. So the end node of the loop need to be this one, loop end with two ports. That we have here. So we don't use the the end of the X partitioner. So we obtained, you use the X partitioner, but not the X aggregator. Because X aggregator only accepts one input. So using loop end with this kind of configuration, and this is the typical five fold cross validation, then we have result from here from in the in the top branch for the training and the bottom one for test okay so we use this for all the algorithms and then we use two copies of precision measures one for training the other one for test and then let's gonna merge all in one table to merge it, we have this with a column rename regression expression. With this regression expression, we are saying that we are adding space, parenthesis, parenthesis tray, and close parenthesis to each uh, column. So we are renaming the columns to getting this with tra of training and this for TST test. Column appendle and column resorter to obtain something like this. Now we will see for uh, this uh, example purpose, we will select only Jimin and we are also gonna compute a uh, very straightforward uh, ratio, overfitting ratio. Just dividing the result in training by the result result in test. We generate a new column, overfitting. Um, this is what we have. So we have different algorithms with training and test and overfitting the ratio. As greater the ratio, as 
as greater the the um, uh, overfitting. I see I'm getting the same the same result. So I will check now the the setting of these algorithms because perhaps uh, doing uh, doing several proofs uh, I change something. So configuration here is uh, yeah exactly it should be two no pruning so this is the the default configuration here i am using as minimum number of examples per node 10 so the pruning is a bit bigger here we are using 10 then we we keep 10 and we use mdl for here for pruning method so this configuration is even more strong doing the during doing the pruning and finally we use 30 minimum records per node so this is the harder the stronger pruning so we have four configurations for these things i am running again because i changed the settings here um, let's see the result. What we obtain is this result. So with no pruning, there is a gritted overfitting. The difference between training and test is greater than when we have a stronger pruning. And as you can see here, the test is been improved a bit when we are doing a pruning like this one so here we have the best test even when training is not so good the overfitting is quite good it's very balanced and this should be the best result the third one it, uh, we can use row id to generate a new column with the name of the method and then we can use bar chart for example to obtain a, a graphical comparison of the training test result so we can obtain this for training and test for the different algorithms or different in this case different settings of the same algorithm configuration of our chart should be something like this category column method sum and we use these two values train and test and generate image to see this static image Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next video we will see how to add more measures, for example the model size, as we saw in a previous video, how to generate model size, but do you have any idea about how to get the model size here with training and test? Then we will have three tables, but we have only two, a node of two ports so let's think, think about that In next video we will see the solution to to get it and then we can, can complete the analysis because we will see the we will see here the name the value of training test overfitting and model size because here is very important compare uh, because we are considering the pruning well, everything will be, everything this about this will be in the next video. See you.